should use VSMs to find bottlenecks or capacity constraints in production? And my answer is no. I'd like to explain myself. The best way to understand this is to uh, use the analogy of the world of project portfolios. Right? Uh, let's take the example of new product development. Uh, we have a portfolio of new products being developed and they're all going through the organization. And somewhere in that organization, there is a capacity constraint, for instance, in the prototyping department. Okay? And that is the capacity constraint, or the control point at least, of the portfolio. Right? But there is a second dimension of constraints in this project environment, which, is, which are the constraints of each individual project taken individually. Okay? If you take a project, its constraint, what will determine its performance, is its critical chain, if you're using the theory of constraints, or to put it very simply, the critical path if you're not. Right? The sequence of tasks which, when put end to end, give the uh, duration of the entire project. Right? And if you want to improve the performance of that one project, you will analyze that work breakdown structure, that critical chain or critical path, and try and optimize it to increase the performance of that project, right? If we take this analogy back into the world of production, what does it mean? Well, the capacity constraint uh, is and, and the product constraint can be analyzed in this way. If you want to improve the performance of one particular product, right, in your factory, then you will use a VSM. That's what it's designed for. You choose your product and you do a VSM and then you can improve it by getting rid of waste, getting rid of wasted time and uh, use the VSM methodology to improve the, the performance of that product, right? But it is not that way that you should identify the capacity constraints or the bottlenecks. To do that, you should look for the cues in your factory, right? And there are dozens of videos on the YouTube channel of, our, of Marathon Selfie that explain how you do that, right? You will find where all those products going through the system tend to pile up, and they pile up in front of the capacity constraint, right? So that's why we say we use VSMs a lot. Uh, they're very powerful tools, right? Uh, but they're not the best way of identifying where a capacity constraint or a bottleneck is. I hope that's made that a little clearer. Thank you.